what's up guys so as you can probably tell it is back to school season and i know i know i know depending on who's watching this you're either super excited to go back to school or you're not as excited but if you're watching this you do have to go back on campus because you're getting a general idea of what should i bring to my dorm and i'm here to help you with that because i'll be discussing important things that you should bring to college and then things that you may think are important but in all reality they're actually not so yeah so before we get started this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below and feel free to leave a comment if you would like and we can get started with this video please make more just like that make more of your stuff that sounds make more. it sounds very uh chill yeah, very mellow like, ethereal you're not trying too hard <laughs> So I don't want to drag this on longer than it needs to be. So I'm just going to get straight forward to my very first tip, which is to bring cleaning supplies. So um, don't be like me, my freshman year of college, and don't bring a single cleaning supply because that's what I did. I showed up to college with zero cleaning supplies besides like laundry detergent, like whatever. And then I got into situations where it was like, I needed disinfectant wipes or I needed a broom and I had to text my friend down the hall and be like, hey, um, can I borrow your Lysol wipes? And it's like, yeah, like, you may be in a situation where you can ask somebody down the hallway, but at the same time, you don't be that person where it's like you're constantly having to ask somebody or if there is no one there, you're just sitting there in your room like in a mess because you don't have these type of things. So please, please, please invest in like disinfectant wipes, a broom. I kid you not, even if you don't drop anything on your floor, your floor does create dust. Like you're in that room for nine months or however many months you're in it, it's going to create dust. And like, you know, even some stuff from your roommate's side might like fall over to your side, whatever. So please get a broom. Disinfectant wipes are super crucial. Yet again, clean your counters because, you know, especially with the Rona going on, you don't want no germs on your table and that's how you get sick so get some wipes also some lysol i don't even know maybe oh some window cleaner because there's sometimes i'll look in the mirror like this mirror a little dirty and i have no window cleaner but yeah so just invest in like a lot of cleaning supplies okay now on to one thing not spring to college so please do not bring fancy dishware such as glass cups or like ceramic plates because those type of things are really hard to manage and they're most likely going to break because you just never know what could happen but if you invest in plastic reusable plates and cups then you're not gonna have to worry about things breaking it's way cheaper also because you can reuse them and they're like a dollar or less at walmart and target as opposed to buying these fancy dishware and like bringing them with you to school so it's just like one thing to keep in mind so the next thing that i really recommend bringing to college would have to be a power strip i'll make sure i insert a picture on the screen like right here right here so you have an idea of what i'm talking about but basically in college like a lot of times like when you have outlets such as like the one next to me that's like the closest one next to you and then the next closest one to you is like on the other side of like your side of the room so it makes it a little hard for you to like utilize the outlets that you have so if you use like the power strip and you plug it in you'll be able to plug in more than two items so i know for me when i was like at my computer desk in college like i had this type of outlet right next to me but i needed to charge my phone my laptop and sometimes i had to plug in my lamp and that's three outlets i need and there's only one outlet that was closest to me so when i had a power strip i could just plug that in and it'd be so much easier for me to like plug all three of those things in at once and just saves me like a lot of like hassle be instead of me having to like plug my phone in across the room or try to like put my laptop off to the side and like figure out which one which one's more important right now when I need like a picture that I have on my phone to use for my laptop on my homework you know what I mean so just like it all like really helps out also a quick disclaimer about power strips and stuff like that make sure you check with your school because I know that certain schools or some dorms they don't allow those there like I think my dorm in the summertime like it wasn't we weren't allowed to have them but like our ra was like you know like just, you can just plug it back in once i leave so just like make sure you check the rules and regulations because i don't want to tell you to do something and next thing you know it's wrong and then you're like commenting on this video like i'm sure it was so yeah just keep that in mind okay so another thing not to bring to college in my opinion that i think is super important would be not to bring a tv just I, in my opinion, I feel like there's no need to bring a TV because if you're living in a dorm and there's a lounge on your floor, which almost all dorms have, there's already a TV in that lounge. And then it's like also when you're coming to college, nine times out of 10 people coming to college have a laptop 
and so you could just watch that whatever you're gonna watch on that tv on your laptop so it's just like another way for you to save money instead of spending a, over a hundred dollars on a tv in your room and it's kind of pointless in my opinion because you don't want to bring this tv and now you feel like you're obligated to use it and it's like it's just creating all this stress and this hassle and sometimes you may not find a place for you to mount the tv or it may be hard for you to mount the tv and it's just like you don't want to bring something too valuable like a tv and it just creates a lot of commotion just like keep that in mind when like buying stuff basically what i'm saying is if you have money and to spend on a TV and you know for 100% that you're going to use that TV, then do it. But I don't want anybody to like watching this stress themselves like, oh, I should bring a TV, like, even though you might not have enough money for that. And you're kind of thinking to yourself, oh, is this as important as I, as other people might think it is? And in reality, it's actually not. So it just all depends on the person, but nine times out of 10, just it's probably not useful. So yeah. Okay, so the next things I'm going to talk about that I believe are super important would have to be important documents and IDs. Those are probably like m major things to bring to campus, such as like insurance cards, um, passports. Well, I'm not quite sure about passports unless you're planning on doing study abroad during the school year. But make sure you bring like your student ID for sure, your state ID, you know, like if you have um, scholarship papers that you need during the school year also know your bank account information like such as like your account number because sometimes you're gonna have to pay for charges on your student account and it's gonna ask for your account number and when they say account number they don't mean card number like i thought that's what they meant so yeah if you put in the wrong information because you don't know your bank information they're gonna charge you which happens to me like five times so yeah just keep that in mind and also when it comes to like um insurance make sure you bring that because i know um when I went to the doctors on campus because I like, injured myself, I didn't have my insurance. And like luckily enough, I was able to have my mom send me a picture and they accepted that. But you just may not know that might not always be the case depending on what school you go to and the circumstances you're in. So just make sure like you bring a copy of these like important documents so like you can have that and you can alleviate any stress in case you're ever in these type of situations where you'll need to use them. Okay, so the next thing I want to mention that I don't believe is as important as a lot of people make it out to believe would have to be excessive dorm supplies. I might be a little biased because I don't want to say I'm a minimalist, but like if you ever see my dorm, like I'm not that type of person who I like to go above and beyond, like on decorations. But I do think that you shouldn't be wasting your money, like tens of hundreds of dollars on dorm decorations. You buying pillows, like 10 plus pillows and all this different type of stuff. And it's like, you're not even gonna be using them. Most of the pillows you're gonna throw on the floor or wherever before you go to sleep. You're not gonna be sleeping with all of them. And it's kind of like, why do you need all these decorations? Why do you need all these random plants? And um, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, are you gonna use these? Or it's like, some of them you can put to use like some nice pictures. Yeah, make it feel more homely and stuff like that. But it's like, if you're going over the top and you're sitting there in the store, like, wow, I'm spending a lot of money. Then ask yourself do i really need this you know what i mean so just keep that in mind when like shopping for back to school stuff for your room this is also going to be like a piece of advice if you're trying to impress people with how cool your dorm looks a lot of people don't care in college like so if you do have a nice dorm people are going to compliment you yeah but it's like i've never had at least anybody i know like been like oh that person's room is empty or that person's room is boring like you know what i mean and if you do know somebody like that don't surround yourself with them because like there's more important things in the world to care about than how creative someone's room is like it's not really that important as you might think it is okay so another thing i would highly recommend bringing to college would be a mattress pad or a mattress protector please invest in them i'll try to see if i can insert like a picture also here here because no matter how well you clean that bed that you're gonna get you just never know like how clean it really is and mattress pads mattress protectors are just that extra layer that you put on top of the bed before you put on your sheets to protect you from like the bacteria or the germs that are come onto that bed and also those beds are they're not really comfortable like they're not some like mattress mattress firm is that what it's called whoa i don't know oh like tempur -Pedic. that's what i'm trying to say like, they're not like those soft type of beds well i can't provide like, space out but they're not like that like they're kind of hard in all honesty so if you get like at least a mattress pad you have that like that nice like thick foam on top of your on top of the bed that they give you and then you'll be able to like put your sheets on top and then when you go to sleep at night you'll feel a little bit more comfortable like you sleep on a cloud so yeah it's just really nice really comfortable i highly recommend okay so another thing that i think that you should not bring to college 
recipe bed razors and i know there's some people who say bring them and there's some people who agree with me and say don't bring them but the reason why i say don't bring them is for a few reasons one is a lot of those beds on campuses they're automatically come with like i don't know what they're called but like the stand like the the frame that's what it's called the bed frame they are adjustable and you can raise the bed already but there are some dorms on some campuses like the older they are like you can't really do that like i know for instance one of the dorms i lived in you couldn't do that like you can't raise the bed at all but i also know that another reason why you shouldn't bring them is that not all schools allow bed raisers so if you really do want to bring one check with your school because i know at my school at uf you're not allowed to bring bed raisers and it's one of those type of things where it's like you can't just like oh i'll just in case you do a room inspection i'll try to hide it because it's not the same thing as a power strip like a power strip you can just unplug it real quick and hide it but it's like say you have a fire drill they do come in your room like when you're evacuating the room like they check all the rooms to make sure everybody left and when they walk in they're gonna see that you have a bed raiser like you can't just quickly lift up your bed and take off all four bed raisers like in the middle of a fire drill like you have no choice but to leave that there and they're gonna see that so it's like how do you explain that to them so it's just one type of things where it's like if your school allows it and you really do you 100 feel like you need it because they don't you can't raise your beds also then bring it but a lot of times you're not even allowed to have them or the beds are already come with like adjustable platforms for you to raise the bed. So the next piece of advice that I had to give for things to bring would have to be an umbrella. I know it's kind of on the lighter side, but in all honesty, it does rain in a lot in certain areas. For instance, I live in Florida and the school I go to is in a place called Gainesville and it has like this nickname called Rainsville because like depending on the season, it does rain a lot, especially like in the summertime. So a lot of people do not invest in umbrellas when they first get to campus because they just don't know. So just think to yourself like, wow, like, do, am I going to be prepared when it starts raining? And if you're not, then get an umbrella or get like a raincoat or something and make sure if you're investing in them, you invest in a good umbrella. Like I got my umbrella for Ross for like $7.99 and it's kind of crazy that I remember that price because I bought that a year ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's actually a really good quality umbrella. Like I literally all I have to do is press a button and it opens right in front of me. Like I don't even have to like like open it myself. I all I have to do is close it myself. But I do know like some people they got an umbrella from Target for like ten dollars and the quality was not as good. Like it was like flipping up in the rain and stuff. So please invest in a really good like quality umbrella, rain boots, you know, just like rain wear. So like it can last you a long time and you're not having to spend excessive money on these type of things also. So on the topic of things not to bring to college again do not bring textbooks that are stated in the syllabus like do not buy them before class starts basically what i'm saying like unless the teacher states specifically that they want you to have it on the first day of school or they want they want you to have it for an assignment that's on the first day of school don't buy it because a lot of times teachers they don't have that as a requirement and then like you'll get more information once school starts and if you haven't seen my college advice video <laughs> shameless self plug i do talk about how you can get free books online instead of having to buy these books online for hundreds of dollars so yeah but i'll be nice and i'll put the name of the website like right here and also a link in the description box as another resource so yeah don't do that because you could literally just save all that money and you can get a lot more information from the teachers when the first day of school and they'll tell you like whether or not if they actually want you to need it or how often you need it and a lot of times you might buy that book and you might even use it once or twice when you could have got online for free. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, so another thing that I really recommend bringing to college, like it may or may not be important depending on the person, but I would say invest in reusable water bottles. Those are one super common on campus and very popular. And also it's another way for you to like save money and the planet, I will say that. Because instead of having to constantly go to the store and buy a case of water bottles, like plastic water bottles, you literally just go around campus with like your reusable bottle and then go up to like these water stations like these filtered water stations and then just fill it up with water or if you invest in like a brita or like those filtered water things you can just create your own filtered water in your dorm and pour it into your reusable bottle and walk around campus with that so these are like another ways for you to save money and save the earth because um i'm going to admit i did not do that <laughs> my freshman year i did constantly buy like a 40 case of plastic bottles and like that did cost like a lot of money but it's also like not really that great for the environment 
and also these filtered water stations they do tell you how pure and like how filtered the water is on them there are like these like three lights on them a green and a yellow and a red one and if it's on green it tells that the water is like at its best and at, at its purest and yellow is like it's it could be better but at the same time it's not bad and red is just don't even drink that water because it's not safe so just keep that in mind also if you decide to invest in reusable water bottles okay so my last tip for what not to bring to college would have to be a printer they are not they're just not really helpful as you might think they are and it's also kind of a waste of money i'm pretty sure almost all colleges offer free printing and also with their free printing there is a limit on how many pages that you can print i know at my school you can only print 250 pages but they're not always counting how many pages that you print so like i think one semester i print like over 100 pages and then by the end of the semester, I like checked my report, how many pages I printed. And it was like, you only printed like 10 pages. And I was like, sure, I'll go with that. It's like, you know what I mean? So like, you may be lucky and you might be able to print even more than 250 pages. And that's just another way for you to save money because if you buy that printer, you're gonna feel obligated to use it because you bought it. And now you're gonna have to keep trying to buy all this ink and stuff because yet again, you bought the printer and you feel obligated to use it. But if you didn't buy the printer and you use your school printing, it's 100% free and you don't have to worry about any like extra fees and stuff like that. Okay, so you have made it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I hope it gave you like a better perspective on what to and what not to bring to college. And I did a good job of explaining or why or why not. You should bring these things. So yeah, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And also leave a comment of any feedback or future video ideas. I'm literally welcome to every comment. And I'll make sure to respond as much as I can. And yeah, so don't forget to stick around for a lot more amazing content and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yeah, the game of finesse, yeah. I count up the blessings, count the blessings. The diamonds is precious. And having no pressure.